Hello, and welcome to this screencast on plotting parametric equations in MATLAB. In this screencast, we'll discuss how to plot parametric equations in both two- and three-dimensional space and look at several examples. Well, first of all, as we know, parametric equations are a pair of functions, x equals f of t and y equals g of t, and they trace out a curve in the plane. Here, we can think of t as a time variable, and the x and y coordinates of a point on that curve are both functions of time. And we can extend this idea pretty easily to curves in three space just by giving a third function, z equals h of t, that gives the z coordinate. So instead of the usual situation where y depends on x, or z depends on both x and y, all of the coordinates involved are independent of each other and depend on this common time variable t. But even though x and y, and possibly z, depend on t, we don't actually plot t when we graph the curve. We just plot the x and y coordinates, and possibly the z coordinate too. And that's the gist behind how MATLAB thinks about plotting parametric equations. Since we're only plotting x and y coordinates, we're just going to use the regular plot command to plot the parametric equations. So here's the basic workflow for plotting parametric equations. This applies to parametric equations in the xy plane, and we're going to add an extra step for uh, parametric equations in three-dimensional space. First step for either situation is to create a vector for t using the lin space or the colon syntax for creating a vector. Then we use one of the functions in the set of parametric equations to create a vector of values for x. Then we use an, the other function in the set of parametric equations to create a vector for y. If those are the only two parametric equations we have, in other words, we're graphing a, a curve in the xy plane, then we're simply going to plot the x and y coordinates of the points in the curve using the old-fashioned plot command, the same, as what, same command as we used when we were plotting y as a function of x. And when I use that plot command, I can pass a, some plot options through the command line, or I can just plot the curve and then use the plot tools window to tweak it. Now, if I have a three-dimensional curve to trace out, I have an extra parametric equation, so I need to create a vector for it, z. And then, to plot this three-dimensional space curve, I use a new command called plot3. It works just like plot does, and it creates a simple curve in three-dimensional space. So now let's look at a real simple example of a two-dimensional curve traced out by parametric equations. In this case, I want to let x equal t plus 2 cosine 2t two and y equals t plus 3 sine 3t. Three okay, so to do this, I first have to create a vector of values for t. Let's let t equal lin space 0, 4 times pi. So a whole bunch of values between 0 and 4 pi. There we go. Now I need to create a vector of values for x using the uh, parametric equation for x. So I'm going to set x equal to t plus 2 times cosine of 2 times t. And now I have a, a var variable for x now. And similarly, I'm going to create a vector for y. That's t plus, I said, 3 times sine 3t. So now I have uh, a vector for t, a vector for x, and a vector for y. I'm simply going to use the plot command, plot x, y, to get my parametric equations. And I hit this, and there is my uh, sort of scribbly looking figure that's traced out by the parametric equations I have. And once I have this plotted again, I can go to the plot tools window and close it up here. And I can do all sorts of things. I can add a grid. Uh, anything I would normally do with a regular function plot, I can do with a parametric equation plot because they use the same command. Now let's look at an example in 3D. We'll close out this window. Uh, I'm going to look at a space curve that's traced out by the parametric equations. x equals cosine t, y equals sine t, and z equals t over 2. Uh, I'm going to keep t where it is as uh, lin space 0 to 4 pi. And now I'm just going to redefine x and y and then throw in the z variable as well. So I said x equals cosine t, I like y equals sine t, and uh, z I want to be t over 2. So there's that. Uh, and so now I'm going to plot this curve, and it's in 3 space, so I need to use the plot 3 command, x, y, z. And when I plot this, I see what I have here. I'm going to grab my rotator tool here. And this is just a helix, uh, just a coiled spring that uh, spirals upward as time increases. Now, the last thing I want to show you here is something kind of nice about the way that MATLAB does uh, plot parametric equations. Since they are just plots, uh, we can superimpose plots of other kinds on top of parametric plots. For example, let's re-enter all the information we used to plot that helix just a moment ago. So uh, t equals lin space 0 to 4 pi. I want x was cosine t, y was sine t, 
and uh, z was equal to t divided by 2. And uh, we just use the plot 3 command to generate the uh, helix plot, and there it is again. But what I'm going to do now is take this existing plot and superimpose a surface plot on top of it. I'm going to plot the paraboloid z equals x squared plus y squared and throw it in the same set of axes as this curve. We can use this, for example, to uh, plot the intersection uh, curve between two surfaces if we have that parameterized. Uh, so in order to get the paraboloid z equals x squared plus y squared, that is a mesh plot. So I need to create a mesh grid to begin with. So I'm going to define x to equal lens space negative 2 to 2, new, val new uh, vector for x, y, I'm going to also keep that lens space negative 2 to 2. And uh, I need to create a mesh grid. So x, y equals mesh grid of x comma y. Uh, now I'm going to define z. It was x squared plus y squared. And do note that we need to use the dot uh, caret uh, function here because it's not it's a term-wise squaring. And now I've got z defined. Now before I do mesh or surf to plot this surface here, one very important thing is I don't want to overwrite the helix. I want to superimpose the surface on top of the helix. So the command we use to hold on to an existing figure and put a new figure on top of it is simply hold on and execute that and anything that I now plot is going to go on top of this helix and that's exactly what I want. So uh, just to plot the helix, or plot the uh, surface now I'm just going to type surf xyz and when I go back to my picture here I have everything I need. It's kind of hard to see that helix down inside there but if you tilt it you can begin to see it. What would be more useful is if I go to the plot tools window pop it open and I can actually click on that helix you see the dots show up if I change the color and change the uh, thickness of it it kind of pops out a little bit more there you see it now now I can rotate and I can see this helix I can even see this sort of sticks out like a little pigtail down here somewhere and a good question would be like where exactly does this helix pierce through the surface and it seems to be the only place that ever happens so that's all there is to plotting parametric equations so have some fun with it and enjoy